SCP-085 is the result of an experiment conducted between SCP-067 and SCP-914. Using SCP-067, test subject drew a single female figure about 15 centimeters or 6 inches in height and 3.8 centimeters or 1.5 inches wide in a summer dress with long hair with the name Cassandra written underneath. Dr. P proposed using SCP-914 on various settings on images created by SCP-067. Using the fine setting, the Cassandra sketch was transmuted into her present form. A sentient, black and white, animated young woman drawn in clean strokes. Further attempts to duplicate this result have been unsuccessful. SCP-085 prefers to be called Cassie. She's completely sentient and, as of aware of her 2D form and her limitations in a 3D world. Although her voice is inaudible, she has learned to communicate with SCP Foundation personnel through sign language and writing. SCP-085 may be communicated with by writing text on the paper she exists on. Personnel report that she is amicable and motivated, albeit lonely. SCP-085 can interact with any drawn object on the same page as if it were real. For example, she is able to wear drawn clothing, drive sketched cars, and drink painted beverages. Except for animals and people, any drawn object becomes animated when in contact with SCP-085, but immediately ceases and holds position once out of contact. Artwork initially depicted as in motion, such as ocean waves and swaying trees, animate to an equilibrium state and stay at rest until acted upon by SCP-085. SCP-085 has also demonstrated the ability to transfer from one sheet or image to another as long as the two are flush. In the event SCP-085 enters a picture that does not support drawn objects, such as a repeating pattern, the picture is converted to a background image. SCP-085 perceives the picture as an endless plane of the image drawn upon it. At the present time, SCP-085 can only exist upon paper or canvas surfaces. SCP-085 cannot transfer onto photos, cardboard, glass, or parchment. When entering other pieces of art, SCP-085 takes on the artistic style of her new environment. In comic form, her voice is visible as thought and voice bubbles around her head in typical comic fashion. And, as she moves between panels, the perspective and her relative size are altered appropriately. Incident 085-A Prior to SCP-085 was unaware of its status as a two-dimensional object in a three-dimensional world. Prior security protocols required that SCP-085 be kept unaware of its true nature in order to prevent psychological distress. This deception was quickly broken following an incident where an SCP Foundation researcher accidentally brought a hard copy of SCP-085 Special Containment Procedures Report into the containment facility and allowed it to contact the artifact's current location. SCP-085 transferred onto the document before the researcher could remove it, and was immediately made aware of its true nature. Because of the containment breach, several researchers advocated immediate destruction of the artifact. This decision was appealed to the O5 Council, which, in a to decision, advocated for SCP-085's continued existence. Since the revelation of her true nature, Observers have noted that SCP-085 has begun to show signs of clinical depression. Psychotherapy has been proposed, but the nature of the artifact's state of existence may make it difficult. Some success has been had by providing SCP-085 tangible means to distract herself from her condition. In addition to the aforementioned optical illusions, SCP-085 expressed particular interest in a set of technical drawings for a 1964 Ford Mustang convertible SCP-085 is to be contained in a single chalk-white bond drawing pad and a secure containment facility. Supervised contact with SCP-085 is unrestricted to all personnel with level 2 access. All personnel coming into contact with SCP-085 are subject to searches and random psychoanalysis upon entering or leaving the containment area. Absolutely no paper or canvas media are allowed to exit SCP-085's containment room. 